Shortly after, he replied with, hang on. Then he eventually called me back. I was breathing heavily. No! <laughs> you know the drama is never ending. Don't let it get the best of you. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We thrive in a cappella group, I think. Oh my God. Mm. What a twist and turn that would have been to our lives. Real twist. See, the problem is the UK, I feel like the a cappella community doesn't really exist. I mean, it's it must do. Small, quite small. I just feel like it's quite small. Like if we went to uni, so if we went to Bristol University, it just be an a cappella group. Uh, yeah, I mean, there must be. But I feel like in America, it's like, da 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 da, yeah. I do a cappella. A cappella. <laughs> I'm in the, I'm in the, uh, the beta high gamma. <laughs> well, what's this, like, a scene? What was they called on Pitch Perfect? Um, the the group? um, we're, we're <laughs> part of the, um, the trumpets. <laughs> we're the lady trumpets. <laughs> we're the trumpets. <laughs> Triple, 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 treble. or the treble threats. We're the, tra <laughs> We're the travel trumpets. <laughs> We're part of the travel trumpets. <laughs> what would be our our song that we would do? Uh, <laughs> the acapella groups, just me and you. It's a double act. I can get low. So shit up. I can also get high. You can get very high. I think and you're going to have to go high and I'm going to have to go low. And you've got the lyrics. Because mm. we need to do lyrics. <laughs> so what we're going to do. We're going to beatbox or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Try and recruit some new members. Yes. So happy Wednesday, everyone. Yes. We are feeling refreshed. We are. Chins has got some new trainers I on. I have, and I was going to say, I've got some silver kicks. Silver Sneakers. kicks. <laughs> Talk us through. Oh, God, okay. The dad shoe these, is a phenomenon, isn't it? These are called the Valeros. Is that what they're called? I believe so. Hmm. These are called the Valeros. They're Nikes. Um, Gorgeous, very just, cool, obviously, very trendy. Thank you. Obviously, very stylish. It's April now. Ugg season is. I'm bye trying bye. to resist the urge to just be constantly wearing Uggs. It's time to stop wearing them. I think mm -hmm. April. <laughs> Let's get past it. Put back yeah. on again in October. That's why I thought I would treat myself to a pair of Valeros. Valeros. <laughs> 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 Valero uh, sounds like a, a member of our acapella band. <laughs> and My this name's is Valero. <laughs> and I'm Valero. <laughs> the pleasure's mine. No, no, no. The pleasure's all mine. Valero. And I'm Valero. <laughs> It's quite a nice name, actually. It's a gorgeous name. Valero. <laughs> it's like Valero, Val. What is like Valeria? <laughs> would be. <laughs> we were in Space NK yesterday. <laughs> and what did she say? Just, uh, Vesuvia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was calling the lady. Uh, Christina. <laughs> Christina. She sang. She I've spoke. got a VIP. <laughs> I've got a VIP card. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How embarrassing. Oh. You know, that's very important to me. Mm. Sorry, what's <laughs> your name? <laughs> oh, no, we love Space NK. Yes, so um, I'm rocking the Valerios today. Mm. I'm, I'm not, not very sure whether I'm wearing a pyjama. You're not. But we're going with it. These are from... It's giving now, army chic. It's giving army chic, cool girl chic. Uh -huh. These are from a brand called... I love them so much. I got a massive oh, package. It was the best comfort. package. They also... It was actually really sweet. They Comfy also said so nice. we've included some extra larges for Brian. Oh, and he was... Wow. I've never seen him so happy. He was that thrilled. Is, you know, he loves this kind of shit. It's nice when people think of others. Yeah, he was delighted. Mm, and they lovely. are from Speltum. S-P-E-L-T. H-A-M. 
Spell them. And they do shorts. It's Ooh. like boxers. You know Ooh. when you like want the cool boxers. Big boxer vibe. And they, these are mm-hmm. long ones. So I have, yeah, been wearing them around the house to sleep. Oh, yes. But I've got them on Spell today out of the house. So Nice. Um, they yeah. look really comfortable. They're very comfy and they're very soft. I think, yeah. I'm not sure uh, if they're made to be worn out the house, but I think well, they, they could be. Well, they bomber very, very well. It's loungewear. So loungewear can be worn outside. Absolutely. And I'm wearing my Kith Lounge jumper. sleepwear. This is my Kith jumper that I spilled katsu on. Katsu. <laughs> and katsu stains. Tell katsu you that. stains. So I, sure. I dropped it down on my front and then it got caught in my arm. So it was all under the arm and all down the side. I don't really know how that matters. Ma- I don't know how it happened. Mm. I didn't see it happen. I just saw the, saw, saw it on me. It's all that hair. It blocks your vision sometimes. I think so. And, you know, when I'm, you know, just eating my katsu. <laughs> um, With Valeria. <laughs> Valeria. Valeria. Um, anything can happen. True. But I got the stains out. Boy talk. Welcome Great back. question of the week. We were reminiscing actually after this question of the week, weren't we? Big it brought time. back some memories. It Big did. It, time. Ma- it makes you think. Sometimes you don't want to think about this stuff, but it's a great story to tell. Great story to tell. So our question Question of the the week. week. (laughs) We really should. We need to find Valero. Tell us, tell us your most awkward run-in with an ex. Have you ever had an awkward run-in with an ex? Never. Thank you. Me neither. Me neither, we haven't. Thank you. No, there was never. I will tell you one time. You've seen my ex and I've seen your ex, yes. but I've not seen mine and you've not seen yours. No, but do you remember that one time when I saw that one boy who I was in love with in the club? But I had a new boyfriend. Oh, he was gonna. He was not good. I was like ninety. I was very young. It was it was my first love bombed experience mm, before the term um, was even. And I remember that was the last time I ever saw him. Because obviously he 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 broke up. He didn't want anything to do with me. Um, And then it was no, he did. But you, we we drew boundaries. Of course, he wanted a friends with benefits. Remember? Oh, of course. See, and we had to hold firm. Yeah, we did. He was not good news, but he was great. He wasn't good. He but then charming. we saw him and, he, and it made me cry, but it brought me to tears even though I had no oh, boyfriend. Oh shit, I know what you're talking about. I was there. Yes, you were there. You had to take me it's home. New Year's Eve. Yes, it was something. Fuck. And then my- I forgot all about that. And then my horrible boyfriend at the time was just no, horrible. Yeah. It's because it's because I was realizing that my boyfriend was horrible at the time. And then- There's a lot going on. And then I saw obviously the boy who, you know, oh, I loved him. And- He was horrible too. Oh no, he was different. Well, he he just didn't want to be with me, but he was wasn't me. He didn't he want wasn't, to commit. He didn't want to commit, but we were young. But then he he I don't know. And then he he was trying to come over, mm. and then I just had to leave. Took you home. Yeah, I remember it well. So that that happy New Year. Yeah, happy New Year. Never been out on New Year since. But then obviously my boyfriend he didn't know who that guy was. He didn't know that, that was stressed. the situation. Yeah, because I'd not seen him. No, that was that just bring back six feelings years when ago. you see when you see someone because it's like oh my god do you still exist well especially yeah and that was you know it, it's like the last time I, I saw vulnerable. you things were very different I was vulnerable I was with a boyfriend I who was you know I didn't really want to mm. be with him and then you see someone who you know you once really liked yeah and it takes you back it does and when you're not when you're just alcohol oh yeah heightens everything but other than that I've never run into an ex and uh, I saw Sophia's axe. She did. Oh, that was fantastic. She did. Oh, it was great. It was just what we needed at the time though, wasn't it? It was brilliant. Yeah, because I was like, oh my God. Uh, and it I was, was like, oh, it was at the gym no. as well. And he'd grown, we must have said this before he grew a yeah. big moustache. You remember you said, I've seen him. He looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you want to hear. That's exactly and he, what and he you want to hear. It was shocking. You know, he'd never had a bit, he had a big, thick moustache. And, and you know, it was, it was, it was obviously, He's obviously a, going through something. It, it was a new, you know, fee thorn. A new era. Era. Yeah, it yeah. was a new thing. Yeah, oh, bless him. Oh, bless him. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and I tried um, to take. I remember trying to take a picture of him. I know. Oh no, I was on Facetime too. I was on the balcony, and I spun it around. But I was like, "Show so me, show small. me, show me." Basically, I was on the balcony. 
in the, the gym. The dream was too late and then on the balcony, you're like, I was on the treadmill. You know, you can look over the balcony and watch everyone. It's quite mm. a good like- It's um, a good spot. It's a good spot when you're doing boring cardio because you can people watch, mm. but it was too, too high up for Soph to actually see. Yeah, so I've never seen, never had no. one with an and, ex. And, and, and neither have I, other than that one time. Yeah. And you know why that is? Yes, tell us. It's because it's great. It's because the universe, you, 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 the, you, your paths were never meant to cross. Therefore, when you break up, you're not running into each other again because you're on completely different paths. You're in Whereas different realities. You're in. You're in. You're, you're following your, your own destinies separately, as 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 it was meant to be. They should never have crossed Whereas in the first place. If you are running into an ex multiple times, maybe there is something in that. Then maybe because that is that not the red string, invisible string, invisible string. What's red string? I don't know what red string is. <laughs> it's the invisible string. Red string. string's giving. It's the red tampon, string, not the invisible string. I've been saying red string. Red string reminds me of no. Of what? Tampons. Oh, well, when you've got the red <laughs> string. Oh God, it's time to change. <laughs> Ooh, red, red string. string. <laughs> okay, thank invisible you. Invisible string. That's a full tampon. That is. Yeah, that's a full one. Yeah, that's a heavy day. Mm. Um, the invisible <laughs> string. That is a heavy day though, isn't it? When it reaches the entirety of the string. Day two is usually the heavy day yeah. for me. Day one is my heavy day. Well, no, day, day one and two. But day one doesn't much count. Done. Actually, no, it's day two technically. Because mm. the first day, it's like a tiny little spot. It's like, oh my God, here we go. Yeah, it's a Hurricane blood. Uh, Buckle in. Yeah, day two. And we're so synced now, you know, guys. Oh, we're blood sisters. We're blood it's sisters. Amazing. Yeah. Blood witches. Mm. Witches of the full moon. <sighs> yeah. It's kind of good though, because it also means that our seasons are in line as well. What's that mean? Like, uh, we're, we're, because our periods happen virtually on the same days, then the rest is happening on the same days too. Like the different phases. Oh, Luteal of course. Phase, of course. The, the uh, you know, mm, you know, all those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. um, okay, right. We've, we've, um, yes. So if you are track. running into your ex, maybe there is something in there, in that. Unless you're seeking them out, so it doesn't count. Mm. It has to be a genuine romance. Or unless you're at school and you're at the same <laughs> yeah, class. That doesn't, if they're at your workplace, that doesn't that count. That doesn't count. It needs to be, I'm going about my business, he's going about their business or whoever. And what are you doing what here? What the fuck are you Did doing Did not in think I was going to see you here. But if you're not ringing into your ex, it's all thumbs ups. Mm. Okay, so awkward times you've run into your ex. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh my fucking God, we're starting here. When he was a Brian in your Nottingham live show. I remember it well. I'm so sorry is that, about is that, that. Is that that our Newcastle lady? No, she had Nottingham live show. Oh my god! I apologise sincerely we apologize for putting you through that. For that. The That's fact that, terrible. The I hope we got booed off. Me hope too. We didn't get picked. The fact that you paid money to see us, to see your ex. Uh, well, you paid money to see us and have a good time, good old time, and we brought your ex onto the stage oh. to date another lady. Oh, I want to kill is, us. Is 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 horrendous. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Fuck. Very That's sorry. That's terrible. About that. We should give you a refund. We need to do better. Send us your PayPal. Yeah, better background checks on these men. <laughs> I was drunkenly shoving a burger into my mouth and he walked past the car and stopped to say hi. Oh, red string. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> was out on a date with his friends and ran into him in town. Oh my God, that's awkward. Just, just. I would have to avoid it all. I when my mum fell off her bike outside the pub garden he was drinking at. <laughs> mum fucking mom, get, get up. up. We've got to go. <laughs> Down an aisle in Waitrose after being in the gym all red and sweaty. Couldn't oh, run or hide. Oh, it's classic, isn't God. it? It's classic. I was with my boyfriend and my ex had to stop his car at a zebra crossing oh. to let us cross. Oh my God, I would hate that. Oh, I would hate, hate, oh. hate that. Oh, oh, someone's put, I've been waiting for this one. Went to a smear test and my ex from eight years ago was the GP. Oh! No! He wasn't performing the procedure. He was the GP. Oh! There's nothing he hasn't seen before. Yeah. God, it, that's it, not what you want. It's just medical. Oh It's my just God. strictly medical professional. I worked as cabin crew and he boarded my flight with his new girlfriend. Oh. Can I get you any refreshments? Oh, any peanuts? No, that's, oh I'd have to God. move to, to the first class area. He was in front of me at the petrol station and forgot his pin, so he asked me to pay. Oh. oh. I'd say sorry. No, I'd say so. no favors for Exxon. Absolutely. Apple Pay exists, you yeah. know. Um, he turned up to my house uninvited. I was halfway through Glam. 
Oh. You can look a bit crazy halfway through Glam too. It's not yes. the time. Yes, just powdery. Um, oh, I tell you, remember when I ran into that boy? Do you remember when I ran into that boy at Tesco's? The boy that I was in love with throughout the whole school career. <laughs> Oh my God. And I was like, in the big Tesco. <gasps> Carlton it was Hill. Tesco, Carlton Hill. Oh <laughs> Late night my Tesco God. room. This actually gave invisible strength. And you had a nice combo, right? Yeah, really nice. So there was this boy at school that I just always loved, but it was unrequited. He never loved me back. He did. He was just busy with other ladies. <laughs> he was busy with other ladies. <laughs> That's all. Um, and I, I, think, remember... I think he realized you would be a wife. But he wasn't ready for that. And sometimes ready. that's just all it is. That's all it is. At, at, at the mere age of 15. Yeah, yeah. Loved this boy so much. And then I remember it had been a couple of years later and I went to Tesco's late night, late night Tesco trip. I you was in the car park. You must have been I would have old been at this point. 21. Yeah, so it was 21. Like we're out of school. 21, went to Tesco's and there was like no one else in the car park. It was dark and there was this van and I was walking in the shop and he was, I was like getting out my car and he was in the van that I'd like parked next to. And I was like, oh my God, this is the love of my life. <laughs> and yeah, we had a really nice chat. Aww. I don't remember what we spoke about actually, but I remember being like, oh my fucking God. I think I called you straight away. I remember. You never guess who I've just I run into at Tesco. And it was so this. exciting, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember what we spoke about, but I remember it being nice. And Aww. I remember thinking like, you know, I could look worse. I didn't look great, but I thought I could he look worse. He was thinking red string. Invisible string. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Is there any other time? No, I've never had a time. I would love to run into an ex and just look brilliant. Yeah. We'll but I feel like that rarely happens. Yeah, but... Uh, I just wouldn't even, I just have to, I just couldn't even deal with any sort of encounter. But I wouldn't mind to just be like, no, I don't want to run into you physically. Just, 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 you can see me. I can't see you. I've drove <laughs> past. Yeah. And I'm just like, or I'm walking the streets with, you know, my gorgeous new husband. Right. And I'm just looking incredible. Mm. <laughs> and you just see me. Through a rainy window. Like, if, yeah. And I don't what see you. What could have been? And it's like, you shed a single letter. Mm -hmm. poetic this is what prompted me i physically walked into him walking out of tesco express an hour away from our town you see that's, that's yeah you're not expecting stuff like that oh, to, to, to be crossing paths by foot a, a city that in, in somewhere that is so far yeah. away is is actually crazy i'd be thinking hang on it's like if you go on holiday and like your neighbors are there and yeah. it's like what the fuck you don't exist <laughs> over here how did you get here you only exist yeah. on our street yeah exactly yeah it's weird yeah um okay when else have we had awkward encounters with our exes i saw my ex in asda a lot of supermarket stuff Su well, uh, and tried to hide behind the bread rolls that's <sighs> the problem if there's one big supermarket in the We're city all going. Well, let's say in nottingham Mm. there's a big tesco down there and then i might go to the big asda you go into another field retail park yeah or, or if you're in wesley b west bridgeford we'll go into maybe that go into the big so there's asda. not that many choices big sainsbury's you know and if you if you if you if you like asda then there's just that one big asda actually there's there is one. another big asda but you that's know that's different ends yeah so it it's it's is it inevitable i mean i don't know outside the gym he was walking in I was walking out. Okay, okay. Uh, a work Christmas do in a pub. And I pretended I'd never met this man in my life. <laughs> That's how I would be. He I was think. in my flat. My roommate invited him round. Fake friend. Holy shit. Ooh. Oh my God. In a Chinese takeaway. We're oh. both picking up our orders at the same time. Oh, that's actually sweet. Um, mm -hmm. Driving past. A lot of people driving past. He was at the bus stop. I was driving past. Oh, that's a good feeling. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> beep, beep. Enjoy yeah. the bus. <laughs> uh, bus is a great form of travel. They are. Um, he worked in Topshop. Throwback. Nice. And told his friends I was banned. What the? Sick Come again. on yeah a lot of driving he was driving in front of me the whole way home yes. he was driving behind me i drove past him a couple more he was my waiter on a date with my new boyfriend Ooh. oh i think we've got to leave this establishment we would this would you so leave awkward. i would leave i would leave i'd say oh come on this i'd is say weird. this is this is not gonna work today i'm afraid because this is also not our day. like if i went to a restaurant and then 
it was my new boyfriend's ex serving us. Like, this is, I'm not enjoying myself. I'm not having a good meal. No, like, I'm not enjoying my feeling eyes on us. You're now. Yeah, eyes on you. There's eyes on us. You're feeling uncomfortable because it's your ex. It's making me feel physically ill because, you know, you've, you've, you know, you had a past Mm -hmm. and you could be thinking about that right now. And I don't like that. Mm. It's best we just go home. Date night's all. Two right. It's cancelled. I'm leaving. It is because, yeah, it's going home. Okay, so um, on the back of that, we have our first dilemma today. Someone's getting forehead kisses from yeah. their exes. So, And a forehead kiss is so intimate. It is intimate. Like, it's like, you're not just... Not forehead kissing strangers. Forehead kissing is for, you know, those... Yeah, they're are, reserved for special people. Yeah, reserved for the specialness of the people. So, so we've got help. My ex kisses my forehead when he sees me. Wow. I, 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 I whoa, I whoa. Like, I, I couldn't help but, like, duck and mm, flinch duck and, and die. And go, whoa, whoa, mate. Yeah. Matey. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know, mate. Scream. Ah. You're a mate. <laughs> well, matey. At that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a push. Okay. Ah. Oh. She's put heartbroken Susan here. I oh. desperately need your advice. Oh, so we're wanting him back and he's still showing you signs of affection and it's confusing. Possibly, Is that where yeah. we are at? Me and Brian had been together for over two years. Oh my God, this is oh, quite sad. Oh. And one morning I woke up to a breakup text out of the blue. That was in January. Oh, you can't do that. Uh, Break these... up text out the blue after two years. Oh, that's actually my worst nightmare. Unless we're 14, that's not acceptable. That is... It was so unexpected. I was absolutely heartbroken as I hadn't seen it coming. Mm. Everything was better than ever. He'd stayed at mine just a week before. Really just out of nowhere. Petrifying. His reasoning was that he'd lost feelings and it was unfair on me if he stayed as he wasn't fully committed to the relationship. And this was all which is a valid enough reason, but I just wish he had told me how he was feeling mm. rather than it all coming out in a breakup text. Yeah. What makes it even harder is that we both go to the same uni and do the exact same degree. So I see him everywhere. Oh. <sighs> See, this is something I would not wish upon anyone. No, like, because it's out of sight, out of mind. Exactly. And it's exactly. So, like, that's the ultimate cure for a breakup. That's the only out cure. Out of sight, out of mind. I think that is the only cure. Yeah, it's, it's the most it's, efficient. It's time and distance. It is. Like, and if you're seeing them every day, I actually don't know. We've never had to be in that situation. We've, touch wood, we've never had to be in that situation. I, 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 yeah. A you bit need of a lot background. Of we had both originally chosen different unis, but he had a last minute panic and switched to the same one as me. And in the first term of uni, we did go on a break, but he ended the break early because he said he just felt so sad that in his gut it was wrong, which is also why the breakup was so hard because he had the opportunity to end it, but then came back. And after that, we were stronger than ever. So I thought, right. as he would always want to see me, would tell me he was fully in it and that he loved me, etc., etc. Right. So I think they went on a break just before christmas but then he said no i'm so sad i miss you so much i know know in my gut this is wrong so he would put you through that over christmas time like you probably weren't together you're feeling better than ever things are really positive thank god he's chosen me i can now relax enjoy my relationship come january you've got a breakup text text. and then on top of that you've got to see him Multiple times a week. Yeah. Okay. He also said to me that maybe we could get back together in the future. I'm sorry. But he just doesn't want it right now, which is just not nice to hear at all. You can't say, he can't say stuff like that. It's like you either either want to be with me because you love me. You can't, you know, cope seeing me move on or. Yeah, can't lose me. You can't lose me or like, like you can't keep me on the back burner. No, I'm heartbroken while you're then dating other girls and sleeping with other girls. Seeing and then, if anyone and then, tickles and, you fancy. Yeah, and then knowing that I have a spot, soft spot for you saying shit like that to me. It's so unfair. It's so unfair. It, it's like the most unfair thing to say to someone heartbroken. This is where the forehead kisses start. Oh, As when we oh. had finished our conversation, he hugged me and kissed my forehead. Fast forward a couple of weeks, I hadn't seen him, I hadn't seen him around much That's or good. on any nights out, meaning I was slowly starting to accept the breakup and get over you him. You see, that's what happens when you don't have to see them. But one week it all changed. Oh. It was a Monday, I was out with my friends, we were having such a fun night until in the club we saw him. Oh. 
God, not alcohol infused makes it so much worse. Oh, alcohol infused. First, he walked past us and stroked my arm and said <clears throat> to me, hope you're okay. Ooh, leave me alone. Like, leave me alone. This was a slightly odd interaction, but at least he didn't ignore me. Okay, so you were quite happy to have been acknowledged. But later that night at the bar, we see him again and I made eye contact. He was mouthing something to me, but I had no idea what he was saying. He then came over to me, hugged me and said, I'll always care about you and kissed me on the forehead. You will always have such a special place in my heart. More kisses on the forehead. Leave me alone. Then he left. Stop fucking touching my forehead. Yeah, the bulls are like, ruining my makeup. Leave me alone. Like, yeah, like, like you've broken it's bullshit. up with me. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's like, you can see I'm sad in my eyes and you're just fueling and my sadness and here in the club looking at you like <laughs> crying with my straw yeah and he's thinking oh she's in the palm of my fucking hand yeah I always care I'm sorry you can't it's manipulation it's this manipulation point. it's like you've just broken up with me ignore me please mm. you don't want to be with me ignore that's him me. like he doesn't want to be with you because if he did, he'd be with you. But he doesn't want you to move on either. Yeah. He wants you to stay he want to in see love, you, boy. pining after him. Because he doesn't want to see you move on. But he doesn't want to be with you. Because if he did, he it's would be with you. so... Cr- like, if Sophia had broken up with somebody... And then I saw her in the club going... Kissing the forehead. I always care about you. Like, this Are poor boy... Okay? This poor boy is, like, noticeably sad. He's got yeah. bags under his eyes. He's not slapped. Sophia walks over. He's so over, skinny because he's lost... He can't eat. Yet. His muscles are dwindling. He's not even been to the gym. Sophia goes and strokes his arm and kisses his Giving him his all forehead. the hope in the world. So I always care about... Like, like I go, what are you doing? This it's poor cruel. boy. I said, this poor boy. Look at him. And you what you've done. And you're going over to him and giving him hope. That's what it is. It's yeah. false hope. It's, it, it's, it's just, cruel. And it's like, you know, that's going to give them like a, like a spark. He in, knows you're going to cling on to that. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's cruel. So cruel. Okay. Like, so where was your friend these... to just smack him across the face? Chuck a drink in the face. Chuck a drink in his face. Chuck a drink in his face. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you've had a couple, you've had this thing on this night out. Right. Um, and you just, you just, you've not seen him in a couple of weeks. You were starting to get it, but yeah. this is kind of sending it, you back to square one. Well, it's She's not saying, nice to hear that he still cares about it. Like, like it's, no. it's, because also, it was a, it, a it's ne- like, if you cared about me that much, then be with me. The next phase of the breakup, like you were, you were starting to accept it. You, it was you just, were moving through the grief. It had been a couple of weeks. You were about to move into the anger phase. Oh, of, just oh, we were almost you. there. Yeah. 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 But Cause this, because if we'd have reached that anger phase, what would have happened uh-huh. when we saw Mira across the room? Would have been. Ooh, it, it would, would have been, been gagging in his it face it would have been dirty looks yeah you know it would have been gagging the mates would have been like, yeah it would have been <laughs> yeah like he looks gross <laughs> and it would have been like it would be um good pure riddance. disgust yeah it pure would have disgust. been you know revenge i'm gonna kiss yeah. someone in front of you petty revenge Ye- oh <laughs> the best that oh. would have do you know what if you'd have just snogged someone that night oh, oh my god could you the imagine stuff that would have done to him would have made and him the, crumble. the power would have been phenomenal. Yeah. From yourself. Mm. But we just hadn't reached that anger phase. That's so we sad. We weren't quite there yet. So, and it's just set you completely back. back. But we can get there again. So, more kiss on the forehead. Then he left. She's saying Good it riddance. was the most bizarre thing. That Wednesday of the same week, similar interaction happens, but this is way more significant. Again, out clubbing, everything was all fun until we saw him again in the smoking area. He came over to me. Leave me, me alone. Started a conversation with me. Leave At me this alone. point, I had quite a few drinks and seeing him made me emotional. Yes. Yeah, it's bound to. And I did shed a few tears when speaking to him, but he held my face and was wiping them away. Leave, literally leave me alone. <gasps> Sophia. Oh my God. Leave me alone. Take your dirty, clubby cigarette fingers. You're going to give me acne with your hands on my cheeks. Off your fat hands. Get off. You know, leave me. uh, Bert, I'm melting into your heart. I'm I'm melting in your hands. (laughs) I'm melting. I would be. No, we (laughs) would be. I mean, we act like we'd be smacking it. No, we'd be melting into his hands. I'd be right there in his hands. Into his sticky alcohol. I just miss you so much. Oh, especially after a few drinks. I mean, he does care. <laughs> That's what we <we're> pretend. <laughs> he still cares no, about he, me. But he does so because if he didn't give a shit, he wouldn't be <laughs> doing this. <laughs> like <laughs> holding your face as you oh, cry, I like know. that's really sweet. <laughs> 
<laughs> he loves you. Like he could have like snogged Helen right in front of us as I was crying, you know, but he didn't. <laughs> he wants you back. <laughs> it's very clear. <laughs> so during our conversation, <laughs> he kept pine he kept bringing up that leave we should go me, for coffee leave me alone you master manipulator you don't even drink coffee <laughs> <laughs> Literal master which is manipulator. just so bizarre as he ended it so why would he want to see me master manipulator <laughs> anyway <laughs> master <laughs> I'm sorry. It is. <laughs> master. <laughs> He's done this before. He's the master at it. Oh, Why don't we oh. get a coffee? In this state, a coffee. In this economy. In this recession. We're no. uni students. We'll make a coffee at home. We'll put the kettle on. I'm sorry. And we'll get our... Uh, Dow Egbert. But, but like the, the it, it, uh, he thinks he's got all the control, all the power. He has. And he does. <laughs> but he needs to not. We need to take this power back, mm. ladies. But this is so confusing. Yeah. I'm sorry. You still love this guy. He oh. broke up with you out of the blue. And then he's, you're holding on to everything. Like you're on those oh, nights out. I'd oh, be thinking, no. oh my God, he still loves me. But then me. the coffee. He it, still it, cares it, about it's, me. It's, it's, We're going to be back together. But he, he can't. He regrets his decision. He can't treat you like this. Break up. It's the I break know. and then the breakup and then the. It's cruel. And then I care about, and then the coffee. Do, do right, you we've, want still got, we've still got more to read. All Let right. me try and whiz through this. Right. So he suggested a coffee. Anyway, our conversation ended and fuck I didn't- Fuck you and fuck your coffee. I didn't see him for a while. It was until the end of the night that I see him again in the smoking area. He comes to speak to me again. I am very drunk at this point. Um, I'd lost my friend. So I was just with him in the smoking area and he could tell I was quite drunk. So he was what? telling me to go get an Uber. I left the club, was waiting outside to find my friends and get an Uber until Brian came along and said, let's go for a walk. A drunk I'm and sorry. walk. My feet are killing me. I'm it's sorry. cold. My, my friends who I thought were my good friends- have left was, me was, in the hands was, of this boy. I was crying. They helped me get drunker and now have left me. Now you want, uh, Now I'm way more drunk. Now you want to go on a walk. Where are we walking to? I was in a sad drunk mood. So I was very emotional with him as I was just finding yeah. us not being together really hard. Yeah. And I was really missing him. I'm not quite sure what we spoke about, but we had a very normal conversation. Like we were back together, laughing, getting along. But we were also talking about the breakup. Not once did he say anything about losing feelings, which was his reason to, for the breakup after all. Right. Um, all he really said was that we are just in different places in our lives. We're not though. No, we we're aren't. At the we're at the same, same uni, uni, doing the same course. Going we're in the same We're clubs. actually in exactly the same place. We're doing the same course. We're going to the same We're living clubs. the same we're life. How are we in different places? <sighs> there are a lot of tears in the conversation, even him as well. Oh, crocodile tears. And he seemed very confused and upset. This conversation went on for over an hour oh. until we both decided we should go back to our accommodation and it was four, as it was four in the morning. Yeah, and it's cold and it's wet. and You're going to wake up feeling so rough you know, and emotional and exhausted. Yeah. When I got back, he was texting me and mentioned again that he would like to see me the next day for a coffee. The next day, let me recover at It was least. the next morning and I had a huge anxiety yeah. as I felt so guilty for crying to him. So I texted him and apologized, which I know I should have done but he said it's all okay but it's best that we don't talk oh this guy thinks he can say and do whatever he pleases doesn't he i thought we were getting the grabbing this coffee yeah and now you don't want us to talk oh for god's sake just rip my heart, heart out and once again just, once again just burn it why don't you i find this so odd as he had spent all night with me kept saying we should go for coffee maybe he was just drunk and didn't like seeing me upset Squish but it. it still left me extremely confused mm. fast forward another two weeks and luckily i had little interaction with him Thank God. if we saw each other in lectures we would smile but no conversations Good. no talking i should also point out that since that, a couple of days after Chaotic Wednesday night, he had unfollowed me on Instagram and removed me off Snapchat. Oh, for God's sake. This happened yesterday. I was I was out. He was at the same club as me again. I saw him at the bar, drunk me, thought I should go over and speak to him. We were having a nice conversation. He kept asking me how I'm doing, if I'm okay. I'm but again, fine. Kiss me on the forehead. The whole conversation, his hand was on my waist. Uh 
Luckily after that, I did not see him for the rest of the night, but this again left me confused. <sighs> He's so friendly to me in person, but so cold the few times we've spoken on text since the breakup. Maybe it's harder for him to say no to me, speaking to him when he sees me in person. I should also say that whenever I see his flatmates, they always say how much they miss me. Oh, that's cruel. And that's stupid of them that's, as well. Uh, that's not fair. And they always say they are there for me whenever I need, which I do really appreciate. Yeah. So what on earth is going on? The fact that we are at the same uni is making it so hard to get over with him, mm -hmm. to get over him. Mm -hmm. I clearly see him everywhere. I still have so much love for him. My feelings for him are all still very much there. I am doing better now and have accepted the fact that he does not want to get back together. But these events and interactions with him just keep leaving me so confused. Mm. They're stopping you from moving on. They keep dragging he you in. He knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Like... I should also point out that he seems to be unaffected by the breakup, which is hard to see considering we've been together for so long. Mm. He went, you know, from being apparently absolutely in love with me and saying he could never live without me to essentially now being strangers. Yes, yeah. a lot to process, it's, definitely. It's but I do get that boys go through breakups differently. Is he just messing with my feelings? Were we each other's we were each other's first proper relationship, which is why I'm finding it so hard. This but is he the first just big seems breakup. like he has forgotten all about me. Any advice would be appreciated. I'm, she's just very confused. Right. And right, what right, do we right. say about being confused? It means it's not right. It means it's you not right. You shouldn't be confused. Right. At the end of the day, this man has decided not to be with you and he's shown you that on multiple occasions. Multiple occasions. So we take that information and we get... Angry. angry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, get angry. You okay. need to get okay. into anger mode. So, fuck you then. Yeah. This is the attitude. Okay, yeah, fuck you. Fuck like, you. It's, uh, don't come over here. No, 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 no. I don't no. want to speak to you. No. Please. You're boring. We, we need to get like You're that. You're so boring. We need to get like that. Like, I've heard it all before. Okay, bullshit. Bye-bye. Yeah. It's like, okay, I don't want to be with some... Why are we going to yearn and crave someone who doesn't want to be with us? Why? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? It doesn't... It, it, it doesn't make sense. No. He is quite happy to see you cry, break down, you know, sobbing, and then he's doing nothing about it. Nothing about right? it. Right? Someone who loves you. Just sweet nothings on nights yeah, out. He, he's he's all, all coffee, coffee, coffee. And he then, probably... Best we don't talk. Best I'm going to block you actually and follow you. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, then. Fuck you. Mm. Right? First breakup is one of the hardest because you've never gone through this before. Especially when it wasn't your decision. Your, not your decision. Yeah. It came out of the blue. Like you feel like you're never going to get over it. You think you're always going to be upset. And that is yeah. so normal. Yeah. But you really, really won't be. And there's no magic fix this for a breakup. This is not the guy for you. It's not always a quick fix, but... Time, I know it's so boring time. and everyone says it, but time really, really helps. And so does distance. And I think when you see him on nights out, because you're going to see him on nights be out. Be strict. Be strong. Strong and strict. And Angry don't as well. engage. Like don't engage with him. Don't play into him. Because I think he gets, he kind of likes it. Like seeing you I cry. I think he does. Because he's like, oh, you still have so much feelings for me, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's like a power to, thing. It's you like need to get into that angry phase yeah. where it's like, you've done this to me. You don't want to be with fuck me. You. You've left me crying. You've given me false hope. Like, Quite simply, fuck you. You've yeah. treated me terribly. Yeah. You need to get into, like, when you see him on nights out, you give yourself pep talk before you go, right? Saying, right. And your friends. And your friends. We need that saying, energy. Girls, this we, is what we need tonight. We need the strength from the group. Yeah, like, you're not being left on your own in no smoking so areas we, we, for this guy to come up to you. We need him to think that I can't approach them at all. Unapproachable. I, I, I can't approach her. We, we are need, unapproachable. We need the friends on it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, like, <laughs> if this was Sophia's ex, I'd go, ooh. ooh. I'd let him know straight away. Don't you fucking. Don't you fucking. Take fucking a dare. fucking glance over in this direction. You see me here, mate. One more step. One more step. Uh, uh, uh. You know, it's very clear. It's very clear. This is a no-go zone This is a you, hostile environment. Hostile. You are not welcome here. Not welcome. Quite simply. Quite simply. And that's the end of it. Yeah. And like... And it will get so much better and you will feel better and you will look back one day and think, yeah, he was a what fucking a prick. Twat. But I get it that you're just not there yet and no one expects you to be. But... No. 
time and distance and reminding yourself, yeah, like you you don't want to be with me. You're not me. the one for me. No, but you're not the one for me. You're quite like I'm now not. one step closer to finding the right person exactly. because I was clearly on the wrong path with exactly. you. Exactly. Exactly. Um, that was the wrong path. And yeah. just remain strong, angry, strict with your th with yourself. It's quite good that you're not on social media now with each other. It is good. We don't want to be stalking him. No. We don't want to be looking at old pics. No. None of that. You know, we don't want to get back together with him. We don't look want what that. he's done to you the look, past month. It's been terrible. You're not meant to be in tears every confused. week and confused. And the person who wants to be with you is not going to make you feel like that. No. And don't try and like give him, you know, um, make excuses for him. Like, oh, maybe he's confused. Maybe he wants to get back yeah. together. Like, don't because if give he, him that. If he cared for you, as he said, you'd be together. Because he would care for you so much that he couldn't lose you. Yeah. You, you'd, you'd be engaged. You'd be together. You'd be pregnant with his baby. <laughs> with his five kids. Yeah. Like it's it's get angry. Fuck you. Who? How, how dare you treat me like this? Time look, for a glow up. Look what you've lost, you prick. You are going to choke you when are, you see what you missed out on. There we go. You are going to choke <laughs> when you see what you missed out on. Exactly that. The end. The end. Anger. And then he's going to see you walking with your new and gorgeous you are boyfriend. so unapproachable. And you're going to be in the club with this big hunky oh, guy. And hunky he's going to think, holy shit. Holy and he's shit. Gonna, and he's not even going to try and come over to you because this new boyfriend of yours is going to give him the fucking evil. Because the way you've leveled up. And he's going to say, this is my girl. Get away. And then for, for, the, for the end, until the end of time, he will say to his mates how he had the most gorgeous special girl but what I, I lost a mate on. I lost a mate I, I lost her. a mate I was a stupid junk, I, I, you, a stupid you know I never kid. be able to get a girl as good as that again I lost a mate I was silly it was when I was 22 I was silly and you'll just be with the most amazing and, 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 guy and he'll be showing pictures of you now with like your gorgeous family and he'll yeah. be like I lost a mate best thing that ever happened to me biggest regret of my life the end the end what a gorgeous story to tell this is Sophia and Chintzia bringing you a broadcast an urgent interrupting message. this the is viewing. an urgent appeal <laughs> this is an urgent message we need From your you. founders we need you to subscribe absolutely we do to we this never channel ask, right we, here we, 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 we don't ask much from you lot we, uh, you we, know we don't yeah we rarely ask of this stuff but we'd like to get to 100,000 we want that plaque it's important to us that's true we never had a plaque you know because you know where that plaque can go Right here. Right here on our new shelf. On this bad boy. We need to decorate this bathroom right mm. up. We do. And we've so, never received a plaque in our life. And everyone else never. seems to have plaques. We've never had a plaque. So, so make if it you happen, would wish, this is, the urgent, this is the urgent call out. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the episode. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> no, this is, this is. We've never had this, this before. Is, so we've got the topic of tickles. Do you like tickles? No. No. We're ticklish over here, aren't We're we? We're ticklish. Yeah. I I can't even enjoy a playful tickle. No, I don't know. It's no. physical pain. Physical pain. It's physical I'll pain. Scream. It's like actually get the fuck up. You yeah. know, it's like I'm, I'm laughing for one moment, but then it's <laughs> but actually I'm get not. the fucking stop. <laughs> stop it now. Yeah, it could get angry if it crosses a line. Yeah. Yeah, especially the bottom of the feet, mm. you know. The neck, very sensitive. The stomach area. Oh, so we've got, my boyfriend tickles his friends, quite simply, question mark. So this is confusing mm. to our Helen here. Mm. She's not sure about it. What's going on here? So my boyfriend tickles his friends. It's a question. My boyfriend tickles his friends? friends? Let's unpack this. Please continue. Hi, girls. Long time listener here. And as everyone always says, mm, a tale never thought as, I'd be writing it. Tale as old as time. I never thought Song I'd be writing as in. as old as rhyme. I never <laughs> thought <laughs> I'd be writing in. I've been with my boyfriend, let's call him Brian, for almost seven years now. Fuck off. He is 23. I am 22. How old were we? Fucking 10 years old? Let me do some maths. This could take me a while. <laughs> Sophia's got the B in maths GCSE. Let's take it away. <laughs> then you get a B as well. I got a C. Yeah, but I had to retake it. Yeah, I said I'm not retaking it. Thank you. I had to retake it. I think it. you can really go for the for the B. For what? <laughs> Susan. So we can do this some um, So quick. I can do this all over again for a whole year. Absolutely not. 22 Susan. minus seven. 
Oh, my brain just goes into scramble. <laughs> it's like the clock. It's like, the, it's like the watch all over again. Let's count it together. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 15. years old. Okay. Wow. I graduated from uni two years ago. Well, Brian started uni the year I graduated. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. So he had a gap year or okay. was he younger yeah, than you? Yeah, maybe he tried, mm. maybe he took a apprenticeship path, path, didn't like it. Yeah. I have a full-time job and Brian is in his second year at uni, living in a shared house with some new friends. Mm. These friends aren't female, are they? No! I don't know! I don't no. know! I was thinking it was man on man tickles. Me too. I think it might be man on man on girl no. tickles. I don't know. Man and woman tickle. Adam and Eve. Oh no. No. No, no. surely not. No. That's really person fucking weird. should have no. to witness their boyfriend tickling another woman. No. Unless it's a sister. Even then. <laughs> <laughs> Even that, I'm picturing like a younger sister who's like four, like yeah, a cute, a baby, yeah, a cute yeah, yeah. kid, a child. Yeah, a, fa- a child in the family. Yes. Okay, I'm not sure though. That's just where my mind's gone. I just hadn't explored that. We hadn't explored that, had we? No. Tickles. Okay. It's giving. Oh no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. This evening. Well, it's just it's flirty, Sophia. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird, right? This evening, I was trying to Facetime Brian. And he wasn't answering. This is not too usual. busy in a tickle fight. No, please, please. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. Sorry. <laughs> please shut the fuck up. Oh. Wasn't a big tickle fight. <laughs> big tickle fight. Helen won't give it a rep. Stop it. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? You're a fucking my wind. actual. Oh my god. Would come out of my. I'd ass. say what? No way. But he's normalising it so much. You have to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just just like beats and sweat. the biggest tickle fight with the girls <laughs> what that is that's what does un- that mean that's unrespondable what does what that do mean say to that? that's just so well, we're not sure if it's females yet so this is not usual for him to not answer helen's calls mm. i wondered if he was okay so i sent a text oh my god please <laughs> I need to compose myself. Shortly after, he replied with, hang on. Then he eventually called me back. I was breathing heavily. No! <laughs> I'm sorry. We've not read this before that. We didn't know. No. <laughs> she said, call me back. I was breathing heavily. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Fucking compose Got yourself. <laughs> compose yourself. No, no way. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me just catch my breath. Uh, me too. Right. What? Is he said, hang on. So he's like, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Not appropriate. <laughs> so he called me There's back. There's no way. And he was breathing heavily as if he'd just been running or something. I asked, Sweating. <laughs> I asked him how he was. And the usual questions. And through his answers, he was still panting. Oh my God. <laughs> God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is not normal. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh my God. <laughs> Ugh. Right, he was still panting. <laughs> I felt that this meant that he clearly wanted me to ask him what he was doing. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you're not trying to hide it, are you, mate? <laughs> are you all right? Do you need some water? <laughs> Take you a breath. get some water. So I felt that this meant he clearly wanted me to ask what he'd been up to. As I won't lie, it was a <laughs> little bit dramatic. <laughs> Brian replied. <laughs> okay, Brian replied and said I was just tickling Steve. <laughs> so that was Steve. Okay, so it was a man. Okay, it's a man. Okay, this is, this is positive. <laughs> this is positive. I was just tickling Steve. <laughs> He's a little rascal. <laughs> Come here. Steve is one of Brian's housemates. As I'm sure others might be, I was too stunned to speak. 
confused, weirded out. I Shocked. said, huh, what do you mean? You were tickling Steve. He want to t- went on to tell me that he'd been tickling his feet to make him laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he panting so much? <laughs> Wrestling him, trying to strap him down. Pinning him down. Pinning him down. Pinning that big muscular Steve down on the ground. What? What? I thought, who the fuck tickles their 20 year old housemate? <laughs> we are usually fantastic at communicating on our relationship. Nothing is off the cards. And we always promise to listen to anything the other has to share. So confidently, I admitted that this made me feel uncomfortable. Mm. Instantly, I was met with defense. Just because you don't do that with your friends doesn't mean it's weird. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, right. Okay. okay so, oh, so you've gone, that's weird. So gone, what the fuck? Fuck, Brian, are you all right? <laughs> Just because you don't do that with your friends doesn't mean it's weird, Helen. <laughs> Fucking hell, defensive. Okay. Um, ask anyone else. I bet they tickle their friends. Uh, we're going to have to do a poll. Mm, we're gonna do have you next tickle week, your friends? We're going to have to do a poll. I don't tickle my friends. Do you I tickle t- your friends? Do I fuck? <laughs> don't touch you at all. Lucy, do you tickle your friends? Well, that's three out of three here that don't tickle their <laughs> okay. friends. So three out of three people do not mm. tickle their friends. Ask anyone else, I bet they tickle their friends. Then I asked him if he tickles his girl housemate, the plot thickens. He very strongly said, take a 50-50 guess what he's just said. Has he said yes? He said yes. (gasps) He very strongly said yes. That is so... Um... Surely not. This made me even more uncomfortable. I told him that I was going to have to go because the conversation was making me feel upset and I needed some time to think before I jumped the gun. Mm. Again, defensively, Brian said, so you're just going to go and not talk to me? And so on. Skip forward. We've now said bye and I didn't get a I love you. This never happens either. This all happened last night. This all happened last night. Do you think... uh, Turbulent Tuesday. Do you think it's weird to tickle your friends? I don't think I've ever even thought about doing that it seems quite no. intimate to me mm. tickling on the feet or the waist the seems, waist especially seems like something we do in a couple not to your adult uni housemates please help i don't know what to think of this am i just being too sensitive or do other people think this is weird too look forward to hearing your thoughts i think it's weird from a very confused weirded out helen i think it's weird i think it's weird i think it's weird If Sophia came to me and said her boyfriend was tickling his mates who were female and male alike, I go, are you okay with that? Are you okay with that? Let's say Chintzy gets a new boyfriend. Nice to meet you. Tickle, 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 tickle. (laughs) He goes, Sophia, the pleasure's all mine. (laughs) He goes, she's a bit fucking strange, isn't she? What was the tickling about? Yeah. But I don't, but, I don't, I don't, I don't know any, I if, don't have any friends or. If, if you have that level of relationship, significant it, it other. It, yeah, I think in a, in a relationship, tickling, yeah, I, I get that. It's flirty. It, it can be flirty. It can be it's like playful. play fighty. It can be, I get, I understand that. It's like banterous. It's like, <laughs> yeah stop it stop i get that yeah but tickling his guy friends okay <laughs> if you want to do that i don't know um but tickling his female friends especially i just think you're crossing a physical boundary a physical, it, it, i don't know it's weird it, like it, it, it's quite simply just weird and i i, I we think it's weird yeah so that think, was your question do you think it's weird so yeah. i think you're within your rights to be like I feel, un- it's making you feel uncomfortable. It make me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Because I think, well, I don't have that level of inti- intimacy with my friends. No, like- My other guy friends or, or uh, female friends alike, so. No. Wouldn't be even cross my mind to, to, to do that. Tick- I, I wouldn't even want to touch a guy friend like that. No. Because it, 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 it- Not it, in that it's way. Like like, a, hi, it's, hug, hello, it's, yeah, it's, friends, whatever. But tickling feet and tickling- it, it's like just not appropriate to us, right? Wouldn't even cross my Waist, mind. Waist, feet, neck, sides of the... Uh, 
Like it's yes. all very yeah. intimate. Yes. We're going to have to do a poll next week. We're going to have to. But we all think it's weird in the studio so, today. And, so he, and then the problem is, is that he's getting defensive. They're saying, ask anyone else. I'm sure well, they're playing this. their mates. Brian, stop it, please. Yeah, I think just say it makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't know quite know what. See, I've asked around. I've done some research. I've done some market research. I've asked around. And three out of three people do not tickle their friends. There you go. There's your market research. Three out of three people that I know do not (laughs) tickle their friends. The end. Male and female. The end. The end. Just say it makes me feel weird. And like, come on. Just say like it's crossing an intimate boundary. Boundary. You know, fair enough with the... Okay, Steve... If you guys, <laughs> if, you if you guys want to get up in each other's smelly feet, then mm. please be my guest. Mm. It's the panting for me. Yeah, you must have been going for it. It's the panting for me. That's like physical. This <laughs> is something that this is going to give you the ick big time. Yeah, this is giving me heebies. This is ick worthy. This is heebie-jeebies. Heebie-jeebies. Yeah. This is heebie-jeebies. The female, the, the the girls, but also just picturing the girls tickling him, like that's. Mm. Not appropriate. No, it's very close. It it it's 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 heavy breathing. It's, it's close. giggling. It's it could lead to a, a passionate snog. It could lead to a passionate snog. It could lead to being chucked on the bed, pinned down. <laughs> then let your imagination run wild. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Not appropriate. Brian. Not appropriate from us. Not approved by us. Not approved by me. Okay, next dilemma we have. My gym crush is my ex-boyfriend. Back to the exes we go. Kisses to my exes exes who who don't give give a shit about about me. me. Here's my dilemma. For context, I have an extremely stressful job. So one way to relieve some of the stress is going to the gym. Absolutely. I love the gym. It's really changed my mental state for the better when I go. Oh, she's got a boyfriend. Okay. I have been with my boyfriend, let's call him Brian, for five years. Okay. We've had such an amazing time together and have a great group of friends. But in the past few months, things have been really hard. We've been fighting, arguing, and just not really getting along over small and insignificant details. My escape from this is going to the gym on my own and just working yeah, out. Yeah. Recently, when I've been at the gym, I see my eye wandering to another Let's call him Steve. Steve is my ex from seven years ago. Wow, you read like you read that like you were telling a murder mystery novel. <laughs> Steve <laughs> was my ex. Build the suspense. Absolutely. And things ended strangely, never really having closure from okay. this relationship. Yeah. Okay. And listen, he's looking. This has good. got all the ingredients. The, the ingredients for the are, perfect recipe. Right now, we're not doing too well in our current relationship. We've been with it for five years. It's, yeah, it's, it's very, very comfortable. It's stale. My ex, you know, we seven never, years ago, never closed. He's looking amazing. Mm. We're grown now. Yeah, this is thinking ha- this of is all how, the good times. I mean, this is how affairs start. This is how it happens. Okay, so you're seeing Steve at the gym. Seeing him has brought up some old feelings, and now I find myself thinking about Steve a lot. Steve blocked me on social media when we broke up and we've not had contact since. Mm -hmm. I've smiled a few times at him, but I can't help watching him when he's working out. The more I think about it, the more I realize I might be crushing on my ex, Steve, and really don't know what to do. The gym is my Mm. safe space, and now it feels like stress is building up as I can't help but think of Steve. You know, is he going to be there? What am I wearing at the gym? You know, how do I look? How guilty I feel for thinking this while I'm still with Brian. I guess my question is, is this just a crush? Will I get over it? Should I keep things going with Brian when they are good? We're really happy. But just recently, the arguments have been getting too much at times. I've wanted to reach out to Steve and say hello. But is this breaking a boundary? This is me and Brian. You guys. guys. Hang on. This is Steve. Mm. Look kind of different to your boyfriend. Yeah, let me see that again. Sorry. Different hair colors. So we've got Brian. Oh no, there is a sim- I see. Yeah, this is Brian. And this is Steve. Okay. Okay. All right, Susie. <laughs> okay. 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 So they, 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 they are. I think they, they do look different. They do look different. A we've different got a blonde type. and a brunette, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, okay. So 
Let's break this down. Let's break this down. Let's unpack. So, okay. So, okay. So, if 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 anyone was just to see their ex at the gym, and because you and you would like look at them, yeah, you just kind of keep an eye on them, watching them. It's curiosity, right? Maybe, yeah. Like I don't know. It's like, oh, I'm gonna keep an eye on you. What are you doing? It's like you kind of want to watch them, but you wish they. You what? just you're very aware that they're there. You're just aware that they're there, and but now you're concerned that okay, it's crossing that line of like actually now I, I want to reach out. Bit of a gym crush on Steve. Yeah, you're thinking about him. Can it's, I say it's, hello? It, it's going into your dreams. You're dreaming about him. What am you're I wearing a cute today? Workout set on in case he's there. You want to look cute. You're kind of not really bothered about what's going on at home because mm. you've just focused on the gym and the like gym seeing crush. Steve. So it does. So what does this mean, Sophia? Mm, I feel like maybe this is all just because you and Brian are in a bit of a rough patch. Yes. I don't actually think this means that your relationship is doomed or it needs to end Potentially or whatever. Over now. I just think that you guys have been together for five years. You're gonna go through different phases. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go through phases where mm -hmm. tensions are high. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're getting on each other's nerves a bit more than usual. Mm -hmm. But as long as it passes, I don't know. I think that's expected. Like five years, if you're both, you were in stressful jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think it means you need to break up yeah. if you're getting on each other's nerves a bit. I think that's I think that's fairly normal. Don't get me wrong, it shouldn't be like that all the time. But you uh, you know, if you I think if this is just a bit of a phase that you guys are in and you're aware of it, I think it would probably pass. Yeah, I think you and Brian need to reconnect. Yeah. If, if Brian's important to you and that relationship is important to you, you need to set your sights on what is going on? Yeah. Sorry, Steve. Let's, let's pull let's, back in. Let me, let's just let's just regroup. Yeah. Okay, I'm being a bit silly. Forget about Steve. Mm. I want to make sure, I want to get my relationship with Brian back on track. Back on track. Let's just figure we've, this out. We've, we've, sep we've, yeah, we've, we've got, been a, got bit, a bit distant. We've been a bit distant for a while, but enough of that now. Yeah, that, let's, let's reconnect. Let's silly. Let's reconnect. It's Friday night. Yeah. Let's make dinner together. Let, let's let, watch a film let's, together. Let's talk it out without arguing. Let's, let's go to the gym together Saturday morning, you know? Let's, let's this in the bud. Yeah. Because the moment we message Steve... That's, now we're in dodgy territory. Yeah. If Brian ever saw that, it's verging on cheating. Mm -hmm. It's what are your intentions there? Why are you messaging Why your Why are you ex? messaging your ex? Oh, so you've been seeing him at the gym. Okay. Mm. It, 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 it's, it's not, not good. It doesn't look good. Once we do that, I think then... There's no going back. We've got a problem here. Yeah. But if, if, if Brian is important to you and you feel like and you want to reconnect, you want to make it work, let's set our sights on that and forget about Steve for a I bit. I think so. Can we just avoid him for a bit? Can we go at some different times? Yeah, like what time is can he going? Can we just going? miss him by an hour? You know, can we just actively think, no, I need to just not be thinking about that right mm. now. He's irrelevant. That was seven years ago. Yeah. Right now I'm in love. I've been with my Brian for five, five years. years. Let me try, let's regroup. This is an important relationship. This is important. I'm not about to throw this away. I'm going to try my best. If it's not meant to be, after we've tried to regroup and work it out, then I can move forth mm. differently and make some decisions if I have to. But you're not there but yet. But we're not there yet. Yeah, I think just, just try and, you and Brian need to try and work through this dodgy dodgy patch because yeah, it think can't just go on get, forever you, and also like i think you know time of year summer's coming up yes. you guys might plan a nice couple's holiday and it's yes. something to look forward to like you know it, it's it's coming into a good time summer fun plans oh, like if you guys have both got stressful strong. jobs sometimes you come home and yeah. you're not in the bed you know it's not yeah. all happy clappy like yeah. i think for a lot that's just real life yeah yeah, you, if you're both making the choice, look, we've been at each other's throats a bit recently. Yeah. Let's just it's no one's fault. It's just the mood we've been in. Yeah. Let's just let's just start from fresh. Tomorrow's a new yeah. day. If, let's try and let each other know you're my priority. Yeah, you're my priority too. Okay, let's put it behind being us. Being silly, let's being move silly. On. I'm sorry, I've been a bit it's not snappy. tip for tap. I've been a bit snappy. Been yeah, a bit snappy. you've been pissing me the fuck yeah, off. Yeah, you've been a but, twat, but it's fine. Let's just move on because I love you and I don't mm. want us to be in this space. Yeah, because listen, I was going to cheat on you last week. <laughs> <laughs> BT dubs. <laughs> By the way, yeah, I think Steve just looks way more appealing right now yes. because of because it's exciting. It's like you're reminiscing. Unknown. You're reminiscing on the good times. There's that lust. It, it it's like lust in the unknown. And what is a crush? A lack of information. Exactly. That. Right. You know everything you need to know about Brian. You can make a well informed decision whether you want to be with him or not based on you know everything about him. Yeah. Whereas Steve. 
we, we don't know. We, it's been seven years. We don't know nothing about this guy. No. All we're remembering is those fun times we had when we were 19. Yeah. That's it's not very his different current now. reality. It's very different. You can't compare the two. No. It's like, because you might get to know Steve for a couple of years and think, what the what fuck the is hell? this? Yeah. Who even the hell is even this? literally two days, yeah. you could be like, oh my God. Yeah. And then you burst that bubble of like lust and, yeah. and like yearning and like, what could it be like? Because right now, this is all your imagination. Exactly. Not actually exactly. reality. Exactly. So Helen here. We don't want the same wedding. Mm. So that's where we're gonna have to compromise. Unless it's quite simply, he wants winter, I want summer. Well then we compromise, it's spring. Autumn. Yeah. Or is it, or I is wanna it... run away, elope, the two of us? Well, I want I want a 200 head wedding and right. a meal and- Yeah. I quite simply want it in a the registry band. office. Mm. Whereas he wants, yeah, the jazz band. Morning suits. And plus ones. Oh my God. Plus ones. <sighs> no plus ones at my wedding, I'm telling you all now. No, if I don't know you, you're not coming, sorry. If I have not, if I don't have a relationship with no. you. Can I bring my new girlfriend? <laughs> no, sorry. New, can I bring my new boyfriend? No, sorry. No, sorry. No plus ones at my wedding. I, d I can't look out and see a sea of strangers. No, absolutely not. Because I'm already shitting myself. It's my wedding day. And now I've got a strangers. Strangers, not in no. my not in my reality. No, but if anyone wants to invite me as a plus one, I will happily go. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a safe plus one goer. I'm a very safe plus one. Yeah. I've been a plus one. Yeah, there she goes. She's she's a veteran. I'm about, I've done this. Yeah, so and I'm it, a good time. I will happily be a plus one. Not at mine. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But that but that's why I. I, I, I I feel bad being a plus one. Me too. Because it's like, do you want me here? Do you want me here? Oh, you don't want me here. I better leave. You, you don't, don't want me really here. I don't want to go. I feel bad. You know. I know. That's how I would but feel as invited. A... Yeah. Because also I guess it's like, say if you're inviting, let's say you're inviting a guy to your wedding who you give them a plus one because it's like, I want you to come, but I want you to have a great time and enjoy this day. And like, right. you're going to have is an even better is? time if you've got like your new girlfriends here. Is that what it is? You want your guests yeah. to have a good time, of course, don't you, you I guess? you want guests to have a good time, yeah. You don't want your guests to be like, oh, I'm kind of showing up on my own. I don't know. I guess that's why yeah. it's, it's a very generous thing to it's offer. very generous. A plus one. It's very Thank generous. You. Thank you. I've just, we've just always been like, God, I but then maybe we'll mature and, we and probably we'll mellow. Will. We probably will. Maybe maybe we'll grow and mellow. We don't know what we're talking about. But I, I, it's just a stranger. I just don't, I just don't think I want to see strangers. Mm. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. So you guys want very different weddings. So you guys want different things. Hi, girls. Me again. She says. Me again. <laughs> yeah. oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, Hello, Helen. me is me again. Okay. I've recently, so I'm recently engaged to my Brian of seven years. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wow. Woohoo. Woo and of course, we've begun discussing planning our wedding for 2026. Brilliant. Lots of time on our hands. Lots of time on our hands. Yeah, because it's it's two, li two year lead time, is it yeah, not? Yeah, we don't need to rush. Lots to do. How on earth do you decide what you want, what, what dress you want to wear? I don't even I don't know. know. However, already we cannot agree on the kind of day we both want. Brian is such an extrovert. Okay. He is a much bigger social cir cir circle, much more connected with extended family, enjoys going out, parties, etc. I know exactly the kind of Larger guy than is. life, Brian. Mm. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. That note. That was beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so I'm I'm understanding. Whereas I am much more of an introvert, have a very small, close-knit circle of friends, closer immediate family, and would prefer an intimate ceremony and reception. Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. 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 How do we, I don't what know. are we? What are we doing here? I would say, right, it's just the immediate family. <laughs> no compromise. Oh, I guess that's me not compromising, isn't it? Yes, yes. I can't help but feel like Brian sees it as a big party, whereas I see it as a ceremony to join our families. Right. I should also mention some of my partner's friends I don't get along with at all, and I don't talk to. He had a, he had a questionable past prior to meeting me. 
You've put him on. You've put him on the straight and narrow, right? And you're thinking these old mates are yours. Mm. I don't fucking want them. Yeah, there. I don't fucking want them there. Mm. Mm. You're picturing a lovely vibe, and you're seeing them coming in, and yeah, well, like she's, a bull in a china shop. Exactly. She said they drink a lot. Most take drugs and can be really rowdy and get into fights when drunk under the influence. Oh my god! Right, so you're thinking this kind of is have not any part happening my on wedding. my wedding day. Something I do not want anywhere near my wedding family day. Brian has made lots of changes over the last seven years together, which included cutting a lot of these toxic people out. And I adore the person he is now. We also have two baby girls. Oh my goodness me! Congratulations, that's so nice. Aww. He's a dad. Oh, Brian's daddy. a dad. Mummy and daddy, Aww. who will be five and two at the time. Wow! Oh my god, you've just had the baby. Oh, you've just had the baby. Congratulations! Oh my god. Oh, I just oh. run away the four of you with your mum and dad and just and siblings and just mum and dads and grandparents and put a little bow on it. Um, so at the time I get the girls in white too mm, so of course I will not have that behaviour around them of course that's quite simple. you're a mother of two Brian come on come on we're not having you know this is not a drug substances this is not a drug inf- we're not at a festival here no we're at a wedding okay and we're a family you're a father we're not at a festival here mm-hmm. we're at a wedding yeah it's true it's no exactly yeah this is a family occasion. It's, it is. I'm a mother of two. This is two not girls. a rave. This is not a rave. <laughs> this is not a rave. <laughs> yes. I want jazz. Mm. I want the jazz quartet. The string quartet and the, the jazz string, band. I want, I want the harpist. That's what I want. Mm. He said, is it, who said that they had like a child on the harp at their wedding? <laughs> who said I that? don't know who said that. <laughs> we had a child on a harp. <laughs> playing the harp. <laughs> Like a little child. How do they reach? They're so big. So many strings. I don't know where I've seen that. He said he 100% wants those friends there. Oh, God, really? And I've said no because of the worry about drugs and fighting. And that is very valid. Very valid. Don't be selfish. It's our children. But his point of view is that they're his longest friends. So wants them there, but can't control what they do. So you're basically saying that, yeah, them, it, it, we might have some fists and and some substances, but I can't control it. Well, you can control it by not inviting them. Hmm. But he's saying they're my longest, longest friends. friends. I genuinely do think that them being there will ruin our day. Oh, bless you. And leave me constantly anxious that something will happen to ruin it. Oh. I don't know how to approach this and I honestly can't see how it will be resolved without me just having to give in and let them be invited. Am I being unreasonable asking for these 15-ish people not to be invited and to just keep it family and closest friends? And what the hell do I do when he when he says no, he wants them there? From a very stressed girl. Oh, this is really tough. This is actually really stressful. Because the only conclusion, the only solution is someone's gonna have to back down. Someone's gonna have to back down. What what else? This is really Because we hard. can't just invite like can't five just of the invite 15. some of them. Yeah, it, 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 um, it's like they are a package deal, right? Yeah, they're and a And they come deal. with the potentialness of ruining your day and making you anxious. It'd be great if Brian could say, look, I'm, I'm going to talk to them. Mm. Uh, and, and I'm just going to let them know, look, lads, I've got the kids come in. We've got the cousins and the other nieces and nephews. It's going to be a lot of, you know, five-year-olds running about. You know, can we just keep it... Mm. On lock. Just You're going to have it. your stag. Yeah. Go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, can we just, boys, can we, you know, mm. um, and we'll go out in a couple of months. <laughs> and we'll, uh, after the honeymoon. Yeah. After the honeymoon. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do here. Unless he can understand how much it's going to affect you and your day. And he's thinking, okay, okay, let's keep it small. I'll let them know. We'll keep it small. I do think, I know you don't want to even compromise on this, but it would be good if he can at least talk to them and let them know please guys let's just yeah. keep it it's family it's a family thing like can we just remain composed mm. for a couple of hours guys 
I think they would. I don't I, know. And, don't and, know and, and, and I would like to think that they would respect Brian and go, of course, mate, of course. It's your, it's your wedding day. Like, we love the Helen. Kids are there. She's a great girl. You know, we're so happy for you. The kids are there. Of course, like, we're not yeah. going to do that. Thank you, guys. Mm. Go report back. Look, they're going to keep it on lock. That's a that's a good scenario. That's a good, but I don't. But he's kind of said, I can't control them, Helen. I can't mm. control them. Boys will be boys. Right. Well, the yeah, 35. This is, this is really, I'm not. Yeah. I don't really know or, what you're going to do here. Or the wedding's off. The wedding's off. Fine, we won't get married. Fine, fine. We'll go to a registry office and we'll sign the documents. Yeah, let's just sign the documents. Got it, Dad. Mm. Um, it's a shame that, yeah. yeah. I think in this that, instance, I'd want it to be just like, look, let's just cavit the family and a couple of friends, our closest friends. Yeah. Then we haven't got any of that. Because then, yeah, what if they're like, can we have plus ones? Mm. Then we've already, then we've got a group of 30. 30. Then we've got a group of 30 of people. Oh, classroom full of people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, year five, classroom yeah. full of people yeah. that, you know, are unpredictable. But this is the guy you're marrying you're marrying you know you know he's an extrovert you're signing he's up. got a lot of extended family a yeah. lot of big friends like he wants them there and it's you know it's fair for him to have this it's is his, his day wedding too. day too um you're just pff. you're just not aligned right now but look we have got until 2026 there is time for these i mean there's not because weddings and you have to plan a long time mm. in advance but we we have some time yeah we have some time to, to, to come to i mean what does your mum say I know. Like, what are your friends, you know, because they know... They know what, you guys. And, and they know Brian. Like, I think the compromise could be get him to talk to them. Give them evening invitations. Give them evening invitations. That and, way and, that and you them. can have, like, your whole day, the morning of your wedding, you're getting ready. Like, this is so, your day. You know, your, your bridesmaids mm -hmm. are there. You've got your maid of honor. Mm -hmm. You're getting all your glam on. You're having a glass of champagne. Mm -hmm. Then you're walking down the aisle. That is your wedding. You're saying your vows. Mm -hmm. Everyone's watching. The family's there. The girls Doesn't are there. Oh, just, oh, my God. You know, it's photos, 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 gorgeous, gorgeous, mm -hmm. gorgeous. Meal, lovely speeches. Ha, 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 ha. Speeches meals you know all of that that whole yeah. shebang and then it's like okay let's clear the tables and let's get the music started and then Cue the 15 boys and then you'll probably have you know a good half an hour of music and all that before any of them show up and by you're in such a great mood then you'll be so much more relaxed because the wedding is done, done. you've done it you can celebrate you'll be in a great mood some people will be leaving anyway like the elderly you know members of that will probably be signing out about mm -hmm. Out now it's been the, a long day they're long the, days yeah the grannies might be taking the kids home yeah and it's like okay look i've had my bit brian fucking let rip mm -hmm. <laughs> bring bring them in <laughs> let him come in and that could be a compromise you know we could get security on the door make sure we search them, so no substances <laughs> yeah. are coming in at yeah. least unless they've shoved them up their bottoms and that can be the compromise evening invites yeah. i don't know yeah and then they're gonna be there from what Seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and they can like you. And then your boyfriend's like, "Woohoo, my mates are here, let's go." I don't know. I don't know if that's realistic. Or I do think that could that. I've been to weddings where we've showed up at like nine o'clock evening invites. Yeah, it's like how's the day? Yeah, oh, you look gorgeous. Thank oh, you. You look gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, it's quite simply. Sorry, it's my wedding. They shan't be coming. It's your wedding too. It's your wedding too. The kids. I'm sorry. I'm um, the kids. I'm thinking of the kids. My poor kids. Your kids too, don't forget. Yeah. These are our kids. These are our children. They're not coming. Just put your foot down. I don't know. H hold tight. Hold what's firm. he going to do at the end what's of the day? What's he going to do? It's your wedding. It's your, your wedding. Day. He's already signed up to marriage. You've already got two kids. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Not show up? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Good riddance in that case. Good riddance. No. No, yeah. Yeah. Put your foot down. Yeah, you can just put your... Sorry, it's Someone's a non-negotiable... Listen. You could say it's a non-negotiable for me. I don't feel comfortable with them being there. Sorry, not sorry. One of us is going to have to compromise and unfortunately it's going to have to be you. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen here, matey. I pushed those two kids through my vagina. So true. Do you know what I mean? I made you a father. You don't know, forget that. You know, the stuff that. I did for you, you sat back and relaxed as I was, you know, in pure agony. In agony. You know, pushing... Dilating to 10 centimetres. huge head through daughters. my... Your two daughters' massive heads through my vagina. And you've got the cheek to say that these lads are coming to my wedding and bringing drugs and all sorts. Absolutely not. You've got a couple options there. Good luck.
keep us posted how Absolutely. that goes please, please actually please keep do. us posted I mean let us know in 2026 how mm. it goes we'll, still be, we'll still be here <laughs> wow I mean I wonder if we'll have any wedding politics oh god oh I just want it to go so swimmingly like I just it just feels like it's just so such a daunting thing god <sighs> I'm not ready for that. Sounds like a lot of planning, a lot of politics. It's just the people for me. That's what stresses me out the most. It's the people. Is it? I'm not so worried about the people. Well, yeah, oh, it's, it's, the, know, it's yeah. the all, but they need a plus one. Oh my oh. God. I, and then I'd be stressed about who these plus ones are. And yeah. honestly, that's going to make me spiral the plus one, I swear. It's going to be, oh, I don't want them, but I feel like I've got to. And But then it's mm. about being sticking with your gut no I don't want them there they're not it's my day I'm spending X amount on this wedding crazy good luck out there to all the weddingers out there one thing I am gonna have is always like a pasta bar yeah like a gorgeous yeah, fresh, pa- fresh pasta definitely thing maybe that's people like people just the... want to be fed oh, right that's pasta the... and pizza bar for sure for sure everyone I just loves it be fed okay guys well thank you so much for listening happy wednesday if you would like an extra episode of the podcast every single week you can get it over on patreon we have brand new episodes on there every single monday we do indeed and you can email your dilemmas to hello at thegirlsbathroom.com you can follow us on instagram and tiktok and everywhere and on youtube if you didn't know you can watch us on the youtubes have a good week bye love you bye